A quarantine has been established in the Tumon area where hundreds of coconut rhinoceros beetles have been discovered eating away at the palm trees. And while they've only seen the beetle in Tumon and signs of it in two other spots, officials are now concerned that the problem may have moved north. A beetle was caught in a trap just near a dump site where green waste is to be brought. Roland Kitagua, the operations chief for the rhino beetle eradication project, says they suspect it came up north with a dump load. Either uh, green waste was moved out of the Tumon area before the quarantine was established and now the, um, the eggs have hatched and that's where the beetle came from. And the other option is that green waste is being moved currently without being inspected. We have had instances where we've caught persons moving stuff that have not been inspected. And what, we, and what people need to understand is if you're within the quarantine zone, you have to have your green waste inspected before you can move it out of that area. The rhino beetle essentially eats away at the heart of the coconut tree, eventually killing it. And concern is that if it spreads, Guam's coconut trees could eventually disappear as a result. Kitigua says they've been concentrating their effort in the Tumon area, but will now be expanding their effort to include Jigo. We've gone into these areas, we've set mass traps to see if we catch any other beetles. To date, we have not caught any. We found this beetle uh, about two weeks ago. What we are about to do, though, is send our um, eradication crew and sanitation crew into the jungle areas around this area. We have already been in contact with the Jigo Mayor's office. We've asked them to notify the residents and property owners of this area, and um, hopefully we'll be working with them. We will be in here probably next week. What people should know is that any green waste taken out of the quarantine area is to be cleared by agriculture officials before being brought to this dump site. Also, the public is asked to keep an eye out for the rhino beetle or trees which may have been attacked. If you have any uh, suspicious damage or you think that you might have the beetle, go ahead and once again call 475-1427. We have been having people call in. Uh, the public has been very good with us. Most of them are negative results, but you know what? We need those because at least we know that people are out there looking for it.